Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cooker, and this is another episode from our Amazon review series. And uh, this is another requested episode. We did get another product in. This is from uh, Phylon. We have uh, presented some stuff from them before. And uh, as you can see, this is a reflex site. There you go, there's a little bit better picture that you can see. Uh, it's fairly long on this one. Uh, but it does have some uh, some nice little features to it. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the box here. Here we go. We've got, uh, of course, some of the standard stuff. You've, of course, got the site itself. You've got your standard wrenches. They did come with uh, batteries, a couple different kinds here, it looks like. Um, because uh, you don't just have the, uh, the reflex site here which of course it would be this section right here. It also comes with a laser. Uh, so you have a push button laser, so you turn it on and off there. And then you have this that would standard go, or go on a standard mount um, like that of a pick or weaver rail. Uh, but the nice thing is, as you can see, it also has uh, some additional rail, even on the side where the laser's at. Uh, so you don't completely lose all your functionality if you have additional uh, sights or maybe you want to put uh, uh, Maybe a uh, flashlight or something like that. You're not going to lose everything because of this being a longer type of uh, Site there. Uh, let's go ahead and look at some of the other stuff. Now this has uh, basically the the breakdown very simple instructions um, it has uh, labeling of what everything is on the unit there and then here on the back it uh, tells you basically some of the features which hang out so it does have uh, it doesn't have any actual magnification to it but that's pretty common for a reflex site um, it does say that it has unlimited eye relief uh, it does say that it weighs 11.7 ounces now I don't know if that's including the batteries or not uh, so you want to take that into consideration if you are looking at the weight of uh, whatever firearm that you may be putting this on. And then just talk about the laser there. And this is not a red laser, this is actually a green laser, so of course much brighter um, when it's, uh, when it's uh, focusing on the target or aiming at the target as well. Uh, the green lasers do tend to go a little bit further because of uh, the frequency and everything. You tend to be able to see them much further than you can with the red laser. Alright, so uh, let's go ahead and get some batteries in here. Um, to do that, it looks like what you do is, there we go, okay, you lift the lever up there, uh, see this piece kind of pulls up out of there, you've got uh, opening channels there, uh, according to this, we want the positive side up on this side, the negative on that side, and then we just take and, see, snap it down, yep, Kind of presses down into place and then this lever ratchets it back down and locks it in so that we've got uh, so we've got a uh, nice connection there so let's go ahead and put the uh, battery in for the laser and uh, let's see we've got that that way so looks like we have the positive side up because it's just a little flat piece there so here we go oh and the laser's on Obviously, you could see that, and uh, with the green laser like that, it definitely makes a very nice, uh, yep, there we go. Uh, with the way the laser is, you can adjust, of course, your windage and elevation on the laser itself. There are two screws right here. Uh, and those, of course, would be for one of the Allen wrenches. There's two of them in here. Uh, there's a larger one and a smaller one. The smaller one's going to be for adjusting uh, the, the windage and elevation. Uh, you use a, um, well, you can use a coin, actually, but uh, it, it does also have uh, some gnarling there on the side of this, so you can actually tighten this down by hand, or, of course, since it is a slot, you can use a, uh, a screwdriver. Uh, now this has uh, three buttons on the back. Uh, it has the on button or on off button. It has the uh, up and down arrows here, which would increase and decrease your uh, your brightness for your sight picture. 
Uh, now the sight picture on this, uh, as you can see here, uh, is basically a circle with a dot in the middle and then it does have some kind of uh, cross lines, but the cross lines are only at the outer circle there. Uh, so uh, it's not just a single dot and it's not a crosshair, it's kind of a combination of, of everything. Let's see if we can, oh, if we have it on, and I do not know, you know what, I think we're going to go ahead and try and uh, darken it up a little bit here and uh, we'll try and get a good picture on what this looks like so that you guys can see what uh, what kind of the sight picture looks like. Alright so here we go I'm uh, kind of in front of the camera here um, it's a little bit hard to kind of aim this but uh, you can kind of see now this is the red one and in the camera it kind of shows up a little bit different for some reason it shows up a little bit yellowish uh, try and get a reasonable focus on that There we go. So that's what the site window or site picture looks like. And uh, let's go ahead and see if we can change the color. There you go. That's what the green looks like. Now again, this is green, so um, you know between the recording on the camera and your screen and everything, this is going to look a little bit different. Pretty good image of what this looks like. There are of course multiple brightnesses. I have it on the highest brightness right now. All right, guys. Well, uh, so anyhow, that's what this one looks like. Um, now, just to mention, to turn this on, you have the uh, the up arrow, and uh, that is to turn it on. If you want to turn it off, you press both of them. But something else I also found out is you can actually also turn this off. Um, there is this center button here, which changes it between the red and the green. And uh, if you just hold that center button, that will also turn it off. Uh, I don't know if it was meant for that or not, but uh, that's an alternate way. So if you want to do a one finger instead of a two finger press uh, to turn it on and off, you know, there's a little option right there. Now, of course, like I said, you do have your two little screws um, that you use the small Allen wrench for to adjust your laser, uh, to adjust the, um, the picture in the sight window there to, uh, to get that lined up. You do have two flathead screws right here. Uh, there are some little kind of uh, ticks. Uh, they're just like little dots that are around there. So uh, slightly different than what maybe um, a, a, a scope might have uh, where you have a slightly different variation. You use a larger screw here. Uh, but uh, it does have a little arrow and it does say whether it moves it up or down or left or right. Uh, depending on which way you're turning uh, the screw. So of course that will get your windage and elevation uh, there. So of course you can get everything set up. Well, uh, that'll do it for me today, guys. My name, of course, is Cougar. This is The World of Me, and another episode from our Amazon review series. If you guys want to check this out, it will be down there in the description below, along with all of our social media links. And, uh... If you guys don't mind on your way down or on your way back up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as well as we'll have those uh, icons floating around in the corner and everything or down below there is that subscribe button. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit those as well as ring in that little bell that's down there. We'll let you get notified of when we got new videos coming out here on World of Me. All right, everybody. Well, I'd like to wish you all a good day and I will see you later. Bye.